Hey guys, welcome back to Zoro 16. I am your host Javon, and today we're about for a brand new benchmark. They're using Far Cry 6 for the PC. Today we're running this on my Intel Core i3-10105 with the NVIDIA GDX 960 2GB VRAM graphics card. I'm running with 32GB of DDR4 RAM in dual channel memory, and this is a heavily overclocked GDX 960, just to give it a bit more frame rate out of here. So I was I, I really had a debate about whether to test this game at 720p or 1080p. 1080p works. It works fine. So we're doing 1080p on the low preset, of course, because we only have two gigs of VRAM, and I am using FSR set to qual ultra quality. So we're not really using it that much. The game still looks quite beautiful, and it's playing quite well. We are for the most part in the high 50s most of the time, but it will dip below into the 40s. I haven't seen it dip into the 30s yet, so. I mean that's a plus. 720p was getting me around 78 FPS. In case you're wondering, but yeah, it is interesting that Far Cry 6 runs here. Now I probably could go to quality and then get the frame rate up even more. That would be interesting actually to test that and see how much quality go quality and ultra quality don't actually give that much a high frame rate though. I feel like I would need performance to get to a constant 60. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. All right, so we're gonna do we're gonna drop it to quality here, just for those who want to see if it can hit 60. I like testing old hardware like this to see that games still run really well on this damn thing. I was surprised. I'm surprised to be getting this type of frame rate. So I was getting about 52 before. Okay. Whoa. Actually. Quality did a lot better than I thought, but I can actually see the shimmering now. Ultra quality, I couldn't see a damn thing. Quality, it, it looks ugly at quality. I won't lie. Ultra quality was fine. Quality looks a bit... Not the worst, but it definitely looks worse. I will not do such a thing. Let's just go guns and blaze. I knew it couldn't hold... I... I knew it wouldn't be able to hold it. But it's still doing a good job. I'd say that this is running well. Listen, we all knew the risks. Frame rates like this. It's it's still crazy to me, man. I love FSR, dude. It really helps all older GPUs. The idea when I look back at this, I said to myself, "This is two gigabytes of VRAM, and this can." I know Far Cry this is a very easy to run game. Like it scales very well. I won't lie to you, but come on, man, it's impressive. I keep going back to the part that I used to. I used to run on a very on the RX five seventy, and I thought all these graphics cards were crap. These graphics cards can do a lot of work. Even the RX four sixty does a lot of work. Go check out those videos, guys. Holy crap, that's low. Alright, let's get back to the cap and see how it plays out there. You see, even at quality now, it's starting to dip below. But at least it won't hit in the 30s. For those of you who don't want a 30 FPS experience, you don't need to have it. I, I don't recommend going below quality though. Quality looks tar- the second I decided to drop below ultra quality to quality, it looks terrible. It looked uh, way worse. But this is nice. You see, it even holds at 60 at points. This means my 970 is, well, I'm going to have to put settings on for that. So I guess I can't say that it can do 60. Ultra quality is solid though. Ultra quality is solid. And if you really want to play, like, if you wanted to play at medium settings, you could do 720p medium. Uh, I just did 1080p here because I felt like Far Cry 6 scales well enough that I could do 1080p and it wouldn't be too much of an issue. And it wasn't. We're using 9.5 gigabytes of RAM, so 16 gigs is easy enough for this to run with. My VRAM, once again, is, is my VRAM is pegged. Let, let's, let's not even look at that number. My VRAM is pegged. It's right, 83 watts. This is great. You don't quit, do 
I legitimately sat down and played The Last of Us Part 1 on this graphics card the other day. Locked it to 30 FPS and had a great experience. It was interesting, dude. Cause sometimes they just leave the 960 in and it just it just it just works. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm just gonna mute myself so enjoy the rest of the gameplay and see me back at camp. Just did. Always use the right tool for the right job. We'll see you at camp. Okay. you learn about resolver, Danny. The guerrilla's Papa. best weapon is the workbench. Go ahead, Danny. Get cozy with me. Let's take a crack at those weapons. No offense, but your battle rifle is a little basic. Let's Rule keep... number nine. Always use the right tool for the right job. In Sometimes this... I lie awake at night. Excellent, Danny. Now you can pop enemy flesh like a ripe watermelon. Okay. Let's look at your other rifle. Let's say your target remembers These you. rounds fly straight and nice. Deep. Now you got your own supply of high velocity war crimes. Let's look at your attachments. Time to make your very first suppressor. This will turn a bang. See how easy that was? Now you can silently headshot your enemies like a real asshole. The workbench is your friend, Danny. A friend with benefits. Damn. Making shit is addictive. You're not that workbench, work. you can build a new Yara.